Hello everybody, this is Simon with Let's Play Sonic 2006. Radical Train's S-rank runs have historically been a bit of an issue for me because for how short the level tends to be, in fact it is by far still the shortest level, it still has a habit of annoying me a lot. Uh, the thing is, it is relatively tricky to get through it in a somewhat efficient manner, so if you are aiming for a time bonus, you will put yourself in danger, because there is a lot of opportunities to fall down here, for example, at the start. Uh, especially with Sonic, however, you have seen one or two death reels where I was just dying over and over here because I was rushing things. It's not as bad with Silver, but still is a factor to consider. Uh, we are going to see like one death, so that was not the biggest issue here. However, as we have seen as well with generally the S ranks for the very hard, um, you want to be extremely efficient in all ways and that means keeping rings as well until the end, not losing too much time, not getting frustrated by robots shooting out your box underneath you after you have solved the puzzle already. Thank you Havoc Physics, stop it, this belongs here, please just stay on, very good, finally. As I said, very frustrating. And uh, this is another one of those levels where it really, everything matters. You need to have enough points from killing enemies, so I can't just ignore these ones here. I really do need to kill them, especially the 1000 point grab bag of the big guy here. You need to be pretty quick about it. In fact, um, the time bonus is vitally important. It is a massive part of their final score, as you're going to see in the end. And you will need some rings. I thought while I was doing this uh, that you absolutely need to keep something like 30, 40 rings in the end and I, there is no way for you to not have those. However, I was actually proven wrong in this very recording, which is a successful one, I tend to show this first of course, because I did get hit at the very end, which was very frustrating and is something that caused me like four failures in a row. Uh, because the final room is extremely hard to not get hit in. I will show you afterwards what I mean. I have definitely prepared some video material for it. But that's not actually absolutely necessary, fortunately, if you do mostly the same route as I do. What is very frustrating as well is cracking these wooden gates open. I think I have finally figured out how it works, however. They cannot be opened by an object that is A, not thrown with a fully charged shot, so you need to hold down the button. You rarely have to do that. You have to do this like in Kingdom Valley to throw up one of those uh, bell things and you have to do it here to get enough uh, momentum or whatever, however the game internally handles it, to even be able to crack these things. And also, the object you're throwing is not allowed to touch anything but the wooden planks before it impacts them. And that is something that can very easily happen with a big clunky box. A corner of it will always touch the ground if you're just throwing it really nilly, unless you are very lucky with how it rotates. And that means that very often you kill the momentum of it in a subtle, very unnoticeable way, which is, once again, extremely frustrating because you never see any feedback of that happening. But I'm pretty sure that I finally figured out that this is the issue. I, I'm probably going to talk to some speedrunners about it afterwards and see if they can validate that because they like know the game's code. Anyway, this here is also vital if you do want to keep your rings in the end because starting from this point there are not actually that many rings so you really want to keep the ones you have gathered up to now and I do think that they put the invincibility here very very deliberately. You can beeline for it and get it and then you can keep your rings against the army of yellow robots there because otherwise you will get hit for sure absolutely uh, by the way not gonna brag but these are four speedrun tricks uh, from which are frame perfect in a row with 60 frames per second just, just saying but yeah I'm sitting at a very comfortable 56 rings here I could have had one more but you know um, but there are no rings in this room and uh, this room in my opinion is vital 
to keep your rings in because you know it's the last room of the game and it is also the hardest room to keep your rings in though admittedly i haven't tried in other rooms but this one here is really annoying especially because it's going to spawn some enemies right after i kill this last one and these ones here are extremely erratic as as i said we're going to see so first of all i put myself in position to stun these ones here put myself in position to stun this one and i get hit by one of the options great cool i was about to throw my controller here because as i said i was pretty sure that i needed all of those rings however fortunately enough i didn't actually i was efficient enough to even with some failures to impact the wood correctly here again the thing i'm throwing the minecart is just so clunky and big it's hitting the wall on the side before it hits the wood and this doesn't crack the wood this one hit it straight on so it did crack the wood but now the box is wherever you need to wait for it to despawn until it finally shows up again extremely frustrating here i don't even know what happened like it should have worked it didn't it's just i i hate this so much it's so bad but anyway uh now that i've bragged so much watch me fail a few of them in a row uh well it is rather hard um but fortunately as i said the score is pretty high the time bonus could be better <clears throat> of course we will see a better time bonus later on but it is both good enough that I didn't even need that many rings, so fortunately that was an S rank, not even that close. It's okay, yeah. So generally, yeah, you, you should just play good, I guess, and then you can skimp on the rings. By the way, about those speedrun tricks, make sure that you are actually com confident in what you know you're, that you're going to hit them and not think, oh, I'm probably not gonna do it, <laughs> because then stuff like that happens. This was a very, very frustrating attempt as well, just showing how you can be extremely careful in this room and it doesn't matter at all because the red robot respawns its damn options all the time. I don't even know why they are there. What do they do? Why do they fire upwards? Uh, it, it makes no sense, but they are very good at distracting Silver from hitting its act the, his actual target. And uh, then, well, in the end, uh, I do get hit by everything in the universe and um, I was just like giving up mentally anyway. But yeah, there is always another rocket with these yellow ones. Proving my point again that just fighting them normally is just ludicrous. Here as well, I'm sitting pretty on 44 rings, but nope, this guy just decides, oh yeah, I'm going to go hyper speed on you and just immediately hit you uh, because they can do that. You can see here. The ring bonus is just not enough. I just needed a little bit more and I needed a little bit more score, which I did have. I had 3000 more score in the winning run and well, that is just what you need. I don't know where the difference exactly comes from because I, most of these attempts are practice attempts, you know. Uh, but yeah, the same thing happened here. Once again, I should have been just fine, but the explosion from my own missile wrecked me and well, that is again another very very close s rank wasted um, by just a few rings very annoying and another thing to show off here is uh, i do actually I, I am capable of doing this room without getting hit uh, just just you know to prove that and i'm also capable of being relatively efficient with the box so this one was a very very good run you can tell that at 5 10 i'm already getting rid of the barrier so i'm like 10 20 seconds faster than the other runs but I'm faster because I skipped a few robots, you know what that means, not enough score. Very frustrating, thank you very much for your attention.